Hello everyone, and harasimin ke rene, grace to you and peace. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the third part of John 1.1, or John 1.1c. The specific issue is whether ke theos en ologos should be translated into English as the word was God, or the word was a God. So let's start out by reading the entire verse, John 1.1, in the Greek. En arche en ologos, que ologos en prostonteon, que teos en ologos. Which would normally be translated, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And so it is translated in the NASB, the ESV, the KJV, the NIV, etc. The idea being expressed here in John 1.1 is as follows. John 1.1a, ologos is introduced. And arche and ologos. In the beginning was the word. In John 1.1b, ologos is stated to be distinct from otheos, or tonteon in the accusative case, que ologos en prostonteon, and the word was with God. And in John 1.1c, ologos is stated to be theos, que theos en ologos, and the word was God. Thus, the thought being communicated in John 1.1 1, 1 is that there are two discrete persons, Ologos, the Word, and Otheos, God, who share the same essence, and that both are Theos, or God. The interpretation is that Otheos refers to God the Father, and Ologos refers to God the Son, or Jesus Christ, both of whom are equally Theos, or God. However, Unitarian hypermonotheists such as Jehovah's Witnesses claim that the thought being communicated is that there are two discrete persons who have two discrete essences. Both are not equally theos or God. Ologos, the word, is not theos, God, in the same sense as otheos, God, the Father, is theos, God. Grammatically, Unitarian hypermonotheists are saying that ologos and otheos are part of a class called theos. Thus, the New World Translation, or NWT, which is the English language translation used by Jehovah's Witnesses, translates John 1.1c as the word was a god, rather than the word was God. Now, this translation is theoretically possible, because there is no indefinite article in Koine Greek. There's no way of uh, stating a god. The a is the indefinite article in the English, not present in the Greek. However, it is important to bear in mind that a good grammarian is just like a good lawyer. He can get his client off even when the client is guilty. So in this video, I'd like to take a look at John 1.1c in a different way by asking the question, if the Holy Spirit working through the Apostle John really wanted to express uh, the thought in the Koine Greek that the word was a God, how would he express it? I submit to you that he would express it as que is theos enologos rather than que theos enologos. The grammatical explanation for this addition of the word is is as follows. There's lexicon. The numerical force of is is often weakened so that it hardly differs from our indefinite article. Bauer, Arndt, and Gingrich. Is can mean exactly the same thing as the indefinite article. Thus, is, the cardinal number one in the Greek, can be used as the indefinite article in Koine Greek to clearly express the idea of indetermination, or the word was a god. Following are some examples where is is used as the indefinite article in the New Testament. Matthew 8.19 Que proselton is grammateis, ipen afto. Then a scribe came and said to him, Is grammateis, a scribe. Matthew 26.69 Que proselten afto mia paidiske. And a servant girl came to him, mia paidiske. A servant girl, Mia being the nominative singular feminine of Is. And Revelation 8.13, Que don que ecusa enos e tu. Then I looked and I heard an eagle. Enos e tu, an eagle. Enos being the genitive singular masculine of Is. Uh, additionally, the use of this cardinal number Is as the indefinite article of John 1.1c were expressing indetermination 
would be supported by the fact that in Hebrew and Aramaic, the cardinal number one, Echad and Chad, respectively, is used in exactly the same way. This is relevant as the Apostle John was a native speaker of Aramaic who also knew Hebrew. For example, in Daniel 8.3, Daniel 8.3, Va'esa enai ve'are ve'hene a'il echad. A'il echad is a ram. I raised my eyes and saw and behold a ram. In the Aramaic, Daniel 6.17. Ve'etayit even chada. Even chada is a stone. And a stone was brought. Chada being the feminine singular absolute of chad. Therefore, as stated, one would expect que iste os analogos in John 1.1c if the thought were and the word was a God in English. However, the structure we actually find in John 1.1c, que te os analogos, conveys the translation and the word was God in English. Thus again, the thought being expressed in John 1.1 is two discrete persons, God the Son or Jesus Christ called O Logos, and God the Father called O Theos, who both have the same essence. Both are equally Theos, or God. Thank you, and Evcharisto.